we'll start with the bell. Pablo is the name. Works there. And um, tell us what you were talking about piracy yesterday. So tell us something about piracy. <laughs> uh, well, um, I was born in the Caribbean, very close to uh, where all these very brave and strange guys from England and France and uh, other places were visiting us and taking some things and they were called pirates but right now they're not as bad as they are I think piracy more than just uh, an economic action is uh, a way of looking at the world and you must have like a buccaneer attitude because right now some markets are closed for business and what pirates are trying to do is knocking the doors of people to say hey there's a market take a look at them and start selling them goods because right now they think that the digital revolution is going to happen like in 10 years and it's happening right now in our streets fantastic and it's happening in Colombia as much as anywhere else yeah, yeah I, I've been in from Puerto Rico to Argentina and uh, pirates of the Caribbean are active everywhere they are in Colombia they are in Mexico they are in in Peru they have very good piracy and then you're amazed how fast these guys move and how slowly other kind of businesses are moving. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I've just been interviewed by you, so I'm going to Yeah, I just did him an interview for my master in aviation. <laughs> so tell us about your master. Okay, so we are studying um, this EV business uh, surrounding books. We, ha we are here, we came to learn a lot and it was very uh, surprising to see like uh, if we don't change our minds and open up our minds to the uh, e-book and all the, but to the future in fact, we will be out of the business. <laughs> we should okay. change our profession. Perla Martin and I study at uh, Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana. Autonomous University, Metropolitan Autonomous University in Great. Mexico City. Fantastic, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so, Bob, what do you think of the fair? Um, I think it's a fantastic fair. And the, the presence of the, of the public here, all these young kids lining up an hour before it opens to come in and look at books. And they were, if you, you want to excitedly seeing books everywhere, they're picking them up, and browsing and buying stuff. And at a certain point, I realized that this place is not laid out like a trade show, it's laid out like a bookshop. And the, it, it's like the world's biggest, most amazing bookshop. And it goes on for four or five days, and you know, it really makes me. Um, think about sort of bookshops of the future. I mean, you know, why couldn't something like this, maybe not at this size, but at a somewhat smaller size, be permanent in a city? I mean, an exposition of, um, of content. Mm. Here in Mexico, as in a lot of Latin countries, yeah. what you have is famous people, uh, people from the TV and from the cinema. Yeah. And, uh, you're going to see them here, so people come to the book fair just to be in touch with them. Right. Celebrity culture in action. There we are, that's us next to the celebrity. Yeah, a big business in Mexico, yeah. the cinema is big. Yeah, 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 they do a good movie. The, the way of the English. Oh, wow. <laughs>